Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel and in this video tutorial we are going to knit vest. It's a simple and classic vest, has no seams, uh, you will knit it as a one piece. Vest can be styled in numerous ways with a t-shirt, with long sleeve blouse or with a shirt. So if you like it, let's get started. And the knitting needles that you will need. You will need three pairs of knitting needles, one pair of 10 millimeters, one pair of 8 millimeters, and one pair of 6 millimeters. 8 millimeters knitting needles we are going to use for the main part here, for the main part, for the front and for the back. What I suggest you that you start knitting a simple swatch. Uh, using 8 millimeters knitting needles and then you measure how many stitches do you have per 10 centimeters. In my case it is 10 stitches. If you have more then take the knitting needles that is smaller or if you have less take bigger knitting needles. But it's very important knit a swatch be before you start knitting the vest. 6 millimeters knitting needles we are going to use for the ribbon, for the sleeves and for the neckline. And the biggest 10 millimeter knitting needles we are going to use only at the beginning. Then we are going to cast on. If you don't have, no worries, you can use also 9 millimeters, you can use the uh, same 8 millimeters uh, if you don't have uh, 10 millimeters, so no worries. And the yarn that I was using, I just in love with this yarn. It's a pretty old yarn and uh, there is a hat video tutorial on my channel. Uh, where I was using the same yarn, just another color. So it's fluffy and really light. So as you see, it has 60% acrylic, 20% uh, mohair and 20% of wool. A great combination and it's written chunky. You don't need for, to look for this yarn, just uh, use any chunky yarn you have and before as I said don't forget to check your gauge to, ad to understand what size of needles you have to use and if for example it happens that you're going to use six millimeters needles for the main part then for the ribbon part for sleeves and for the neckline you will uh, you will use four millimeters knitting needles so two size the two sizes less. Uh, that's basically it. I think I said everything. The written instruction you can find on my blog. Check the link down below. And let's get started. Using 10 millimeters knitting needles, cast on 34 stitches, and now switch to 8 millimeters knitting needles. And let's start the first row. So slip the first stitch, and now we are going to make a Curl stitch, uh, double rope, curl stitch. So insert your needle as to curl, and instead of one rope, make two. And you see two loops on your right needle. Pull the tail here and go on. Insert as to curl, double rope. and pull through and two loops again let's do one more double rope one more time one two and pull through Like this. One, 
do. Usually I help myself with the index finger. So find the uh, most comfortable way uh, for yourself because at the beginning it might feel like it's a little bit challenging to to pull the stitch but no trust me after a couple of more rows you're going to feel that you are doing it uh, better and better let's do it again double rope and pull through and drop the loop of your left needle double rope and pull through so like this you go on till the end let me show you one more time double rope help you you can help yourself you see as i'm doing with also with a thumb and then index finger now please finish this row so i'm at the end of of the first row and the last stitch we are going always pro salvage stitch so we slip the first stitch always slip it and always pro the last stitch but it is only on the wrong side row number two we are going to need all stitches so slip the first stitch and then insert the needle as to need and knit through the first loop and then drop both loops of the left needle and it creates a long loop uh, that makes fabric loopy just knit all stitches And you can see that will be fabric and that how the rest will look please finish this row I'm at the end of the row number two and on the right side we are going always to knit the last stitch so on the right side we need the last stitch on the wrong side we pearl the last stitch and now row number three we are going to repeat row number one slip the first stitch holding working yarn in front then make a double rope pearl stitch and again double rope pearl stitch double rope pearl stitch like this go on Darling, till the end. Finish this round and don't forget we are on the wrong side, so we are going to pull the last stitch. After that, I need uh, row number four. It will be the same as row number two, and don't forget to need the last stitch and repeat rows uh, one and two until piece reaches about 20 centimeters. Here I am. Let's measure. I've done 20 rounds.
and as I said, I have 20 centimeters. Please need more rows if you need. So let's count just to be sure that I've done 20 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 20 rows. And in the next row we are going to make increase. So this is the row number 21 in my case. We are on the wrong side, slip the first stitch and make one left. For this bring the yarn, pick up the bar and bring the left hand needle from, from front to the back. And then curl the bar through the back loop and in our case we have to make a double rope curl stitch. One, two, and pull through. Could be a little bit tough because it's a bar. And after that, go on. Curling till the end. So curl 32, and before the next celery stitch, we are going to make one more increase. just here and at the end we are going to make one right for this pick up the bar bring in the left hand needle from back to front you see you bring the left hand needle from back to front and now you're going to curl the bar through the like this and knit the bar through the front loop in this case so we are going to make a curl double rope curl again two loops and drop and curl the last stitch as we are on the wrong side. Turn. And now row number 22. Slip the first stitch and knit all other stitches. Uh, in our case, knit 34. Slip the first stitch, knit 34, and knit the last salvage stitch. Please finish this row. Okay, I've done row number 22 at the end. Don't forget to knit last stitch. And row number 23, we are going to make again increases at the beginning and at the end, as we did in row number 21. So slip the first stitch and now make one left. Pick up the bar, bring in the left hand needle from front to back. like this and through the back loop make a double rope curl stitch and 
and double drop and full stroke. So two loops and drop. Here are two loops, yes. And go on, curling, making double rope curl stitches till the end. And at the end, we are going to make again one more increase. Finish this row. At the end, before the salvage stitch, pick up the bar, bring in left hand needle from back to front, and curl the bar through the front loop. Double rope. And pull through. Great. And again, curl the last stitch. Turn. And that's how decreases are looking already. So row number 24. Clip the first stitch and knit 36 already. 36. And at the end, knit the last salvage stitch. Finish this row. After that, in row 25, make two more increases, right and left. Then in row 26, just knit all stitches. And in row 27, make again two more increases. And in row 28, knit all stitches.